-hmm. When you put and you draw half of this, where do you find these two islands located? That's a very simple thing. I would like to everyone to go to the geographical things and do this. Go to Google if they want to do. Sir, go to Gamal Hamdan. Go Gamal, to yeah, go, go to Gamal Hamdan first. No, our Gamal our Hamdan. great Egyptian uh, man of geography. Yes, the one who is not here at this who moment. Who is not here uh, and who did it on his own. Absolutely. Once again, it's a yes or no question because I'm going to okay. move to another issue because we do have a lot of foreign tackles yeah, in President yeah. El-Sisi's speech. No, I, if I, you I, are the advisor of President El-Sisi, would you advise him to repeat what, we, what he has done? No. To, no. No. Uh, Dr. Ghazdawi, among also the messages sent by President El-Sisi, he said something which I think it's very cunning and it's very smart. He said that in this very critical period, we... Um, it seems that it's not not it seems uh, uh, if we are not Egypt and if we are not this big sis of of the Middle East region we might have some uh, um, evil uh, solutions or evil ideas mm -hmm. just to jump in Libya as you have kindly mentioned Dr. Well, Shreda and to take its oil whenever, whenever whenever it's a chaotic situation there mm -hmm. to do whatever it takes to, to take all the wealth there, or the fortunes, or a, a lot, billions of, of dollars, we can, but this is not us, and this is not Egypt. We can help or support our neighbors, our allies, our, our Arab and Islamic countries, but not to interfere into the uh, internal affairs, and not to uh, grab their lands or grab their uh, wealth. Mm -hmm. How do you see this? Well, it's a um, sort of reiteration to the ethical structure of, of Egypt uh, uh, government, mm -hmm. um, not only today. We have been always like that since we know Egypt. Um, Egypt is not uh, aspiring at uh, illegal gains from, from uh, anyone else, or, or, or of course, we should start with our neighbors, you know. Yeah. So, um, what he said about Libya is, is th this is this is our traditional structure in well, not only the Egyptian army but the Egyptian people themselves, and we, we all know um, the, the the huge number of Egyptians who were working in Libya uh, one time and in, in Iraq other times. You never hear about uh, some political uh, problems that the Egyptian caused in these countries. On the contrary, on the contrary, they have been always influential, productive factor of stability in these countries mm -hmm. and Egypt army uh, has has uh, has never been aggressive mm -hmm. uh, so what the president said is very simple and we understand that because we know exactly that Egypt has no illegitimate uh, aspirations in any other country mm -hmm. and that should delight also on the relation between Egypt and Saudi Arabia in this particular very particular uh, issue or sizzling issue of the two islands mm -hmm. because when we handle such issue between Two very close Arabic Islamic huge entities like Egypt and Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. We are not talking a normal problem of drawing borders Absolutely. between Egypt and Israel. Mm -hmm. This is totally different. We talk about two close, um, 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 strong Arabic Islamic entities who both feel responsibility, both feel committed to each other, mm -hmm. both feel committed to the Arab nation as a, a, a wider concept. In Islamic if you permit me to say, sir, they are the shield they of are the, the Arab and They are the nation. locomotives of, of, yes. the, of the Arab nation. Yes. So we should not be naive just to surrender to these <laughs> allegations. This is really allegations. If it's, it's not only a matter of national security, by the way. Here, when it comes to, the, the, to whom the, the, the two islands belong, it's basically legal, mm -hmm. international law agreements and if those are not enough we go to um, other supportive uh, procedures so what Egypt have today and what Saudi Arabia have today is enough to say that this this is uh, these two islands uh, the sovereignty is for Saudi Arabia but the administration was, for Egypt. was for Egypt 
And for us, because we are specialized in international law, we have to define the difference between sovereignty and administration. Yes, Amen. For in, yes, for, in, for, for international law, sovereignty means, Arabic, yes, yeah. sovereignty means sovereignty. Uh, ownership in, in our sovereignty, private law. Yes. Ownership mm -hmm. in, in our national law. Mm -hmm. And, but, but when it comes to international law, they call it sovereignty. And the, the, so this is the ownership. Mm -hmm. So the ownership was for Saudi Arabia, but the administration, with full agreement of both sides for different reasons, it was for Egypt for, for a long time. So we, should not, we, we shouldn't have made such big issue about that. And what the president said was really wise when he said, yeah, the whole issue will be referred to the people assembly the parliament, and the parliament will decide that, and, and that's he, it. And he mentioned also the consultations the he consultation. had. And, and by the way, it didn't yeah. start seven months ago. It started from 2006, by the way. And uh, so no, I mean, I mean, while President El Sisi uh, um, uh, is the president, in uh, yeah, I mean, and, yeah, in charge, uh, while uh, the president is yeah, in of charge. Of course, the, the, this seven months were, were when, when it was handled during Sisi time. Mm -hmm. But the issue started of Saudi Arabia claiming the two islands, claiming its retrieval or getting them back in 2006. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and by the way, it has never been said before Egypt claimed that the two islands were Egyptians. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say now that I am full 100% for you know, taking the two islands to Saudi Arabia or to Egypt. But we as Egyptians, we have to be very, very wise in terms of not jumping to conclusions and start blame in anybody. We have to even after the speech of President El Sisi, it's not understood at the moment. It should be understood today. Yeah. But what happened, what opened the way for the chaos, for mm -hmm. the for the rumors and for the what have been said in, in a very hectic way, uh, is the timing itself. Probably the government was not, uh, uh, you know, uh, perfect in selecting the timing itself. Mm. It should have been. You mean the timing the because, timing, of, because of it happened in, at the very same time. At the very same time, at the very of King Salman. King Salman. King Salman. And the, the Egyptian, most of the Egyptian people were feeling a, a, a euphoric sensation, mm -hmm. positive sensation of the visit. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, this was declared. So for, for normal people, they might think that this, is, was, this was for, in return for what Saudi did to Egypt. If that's you permit me, sir, this is very naive. Yeah, that's what I said, very naive. But why the government would open the way for that? Why the government would open the gate for those who are just waiting furtively for some little mistakes to make big and bombastic you know, problems but about But now that? the case is clear. The case is very clear. No. And it will go to the parliament. And we should trust the parliament. So, yeah. if some still uh, taking this as an excuse to go to the, to the streets to demonstrate or to, to accuse the presidency or the leadership of doing something wrong. Despite the fact that there is an, a statement released today by the Ministry of the Interior saying that it's not allowed at all to demonstrate without the permission. Until the moment, nobody presented uh, um, a plea, um, not a plea, um, a request to go for demonstrations. So all those who are going to go, it's by law, they are going to be arrested. If I'm, uh, I think I, uh, I'm now saying it clear. Do you see any excuse for those who want to demonstrate or who invite or call on people to demonstrate? No, I will ask the police to arrest them in, in their home. In their homes? In their homes. <laughs> Uh, this is very straightforward. But how can they know them if they don't? Anybody do it? Social media, sir. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, no, they, they, no. they are calling people on social media to do so. No. no, no. My, my dear, so inside, my once dear, again, it's my tough. Dear, after the presidents say, after the professional mm -hmm. people have talked and spoken about, after the clear vision of this, you have lots of things. You want to go and you want to know this, go to the libraries, read it. Mm -hmm. You want to go, go to the United Nations. You want to make a problem. Raise it on the perfect way. Go to the court. Say that you are disputing this and that these, these things, I would like to see the evidence. Mm -hmm. So the court will bring you the evidence and show you, yes, my son or my daughter, these are the evidence. And you better know it is very clear. And when the judge is saying this, 
He's giving you your right. Yeah. So when you want to take your right by your hand, you better know we should cut your hand. Amen to that. Tomorrow is another day. And we should speak once again about the media and another message sent by President El-Sisi to the media. He said it that way. If you think that what you were writing about the so-called Renaissance Dam of Ethiopia is benefiting Egypt, on the contrary, right. it's really harmful. Yeah. And we are, unfortunately, bearing this responsibility or shouldering this responsibility of what you are writing against Egypt's interest. I would like... How do you, say, no, how I would, do you see this? No, I, would like, I would like someone huh? in the government... To... Bring the files of these media guys and present them to the people. Who Many of them were sitting in front of President El Sisi while he was no, no, speaking. No, no, no. I'm no, forget. I'm not saying who is in or who is out. I um, am saying to you, many of them were sitting in front of President El Sisi, so he was directing his speech to them, in specific, to be accurate. My dear, these media guys, among other people, of course. Okay, these guys, they are making bucks, mm -hmm. and the word bucks means dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how can they make instead of bucks sterling pound? Okay. Or euros why because he was like to have a vacation in france or england and his wife should buy something okay <laughs> so this way the president sisi is telling clear vision to everyone mm -hmm. egypt is in a critical situation egypt is in the intensive care bear this in mind we need to support egypt we need to gather we want to uh, eliminate all the wo wooden, uh, wo anything in, in the body mm. to get it off. We want to get, bring healthy life to this body. We want the new generations. The importance of Sisi's words is for the new generations. Yes. We want to be, let the new generation recognize there is a better future. Inshallah. Amen to that. Uh, President El Sisi spoke for hours, so we should we we should speak a lot about all what he has said. But in other episodes of Windows, inshallah, because unfortunately we are running out of time. Dr. Shreba, I want to say something before we go. We have 30 yeah, seconds. Yeah, I would just want to say, uh, President Sisi, I would like you to read the history of Muhammad Ali, and please take all the actions what Muhammad Ali have done. Yeah, Any other message? Yeah, the message is uh, not to President Sisi, indeed, but to Egyptians. Uh -huh. the, the visit of King Salman to Egypt has been a very fruitful visit. Mm -hmm. And we hope, we have a lot of hopes that if we build on seriously on this visit, we, we could do a lot and within a very, very short time. And uh, I'm also the message to Egyptians not to listen to the rumors and not to follow those who do not have good intentions to Egypt community and stability. That's the only message I have to say. And all what I have to say that thank you very much for your input. I was honored to be with you both in this very special episode of Windows. Dr. Ibrahim Al-Ghazawi, Dr. Hussein Shreba, uh, our political analysts of this episode of Windows. Well, uh, by this we come to the end of this special episode. On behalf of my dear colleagues, Dean Hussain, Ashraf Makram, Numeri Shuman, myself, Nirmin Abdurrahman, many thanks for watching. Have a very good evening.